than they are today. True or false? True? I don't know. Good guess, but... Who tries his for I thought that's what it said. Oh. What? Wait. I'm very confused. Check it out. I made some bread. Yeah. So read the steps. This is really good bread. It is very good bread. A portion of the mother dough is mixed with flour, water, and salt, and thus begins in a batch of Bowden, Bowden, Bowden? I say Bowden. I think it's Bowden. Bowden sour, sourdough. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you guys cannot let <laughs> You just hit your head on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> tell us why it's called Mother Dough. Okay. Mother Dough. Okay, mommy, mommy. <laughs> okay, so you let them just look into the bakery, but not this. Okay, okay. Okay, go ahead. The question is, why is this, this is a cute name. Why is it called Mother Dough? Why? I'm not telling you because Because you... it's the mother of all dough. But you guys have to leave comments down below. Oh, okay. But they'll never know the answer. But they can at least try. A mixed batch of dough is lifted into Wait, the dough trough. Wait, I want to read it. I want to read it. Okay. A mixed batch of dough is lifted into the dough trough, wheeled it into the... Trough hoist. Trough hoist, then lifted and dumped into the divider pumper. The divider cuts the dough into just the right size pieces for the perfect loaf of bread. Okay, and then the rounder? The, the dough pieces are dropped on to, onto a... What do you want to the Conveyor belt. belt. What's this? What's Conveyor this? belt. Conveyor belt and transported to the rounder. The rounder will be the piece of the dough down the spiral. Watch, that's what's happening here. So watch, bread's gonna come out of there, and then it goes onto this conveyor belt, and then into that swirly thing. See? Let's just watch. I can't let them see this. What's the question that they have to answer? Okay, read the question. What goes into bound in sourdough bread? Boom. Boom. Look above your head. That's so funny. Okay, what's the next step? From the rounder, the dough pieces are dropped into the mesh baskets where they take a ride through lots and stretch and gain training. Without this resting time, the dough would have been it would be tight and rubbery when going through the molder. And that's just what we saw. That's what's going on right here and above our heads. Pretty so, cool. What happens in the molder? Once the dough has rested, it drops the conveyor and starts its long ride through the molder. Here the baker's round. Here the round and stretch and mold the dough balls into just the right shape to become a loaf, a round, a baguette, baguette or even a beloved Mickey Mouse. The fully shaped loaves are placed by hand on the baking screens and then onto the baking rack. Okay, so watch. So it comes out there. Okay, so we're going to see one come and then it falls in there. And then if you watch, you'll see it fall from there to there. And then it comes around and around. And then this guy, these guys grab them and make them round. 
Okay, what's the question they're answering? What makes the bubbles in bound in, in bound in red? Okay. So let's watch these guys for a second. See how they pick up the loaf? Uh -huh. And then they're gonna pick what shape? And I guess that one was no good. I like red. Okay, so then it's slow fermentation. In order for the bread to get that tangy bound in flavor, it needs to chill out for 16 to 24 hours. So the rats are moved into fermentation coolers to wait for the next day's bake. And then what happens? Proof. The rats are moved into a warm, moist proofing box for an hour where the loaves rise to their final form. Okay, so there's the fermentation racks. And then back there, you see I'm turning in the cooler back there? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look, they're, they're morphing. That's not, I'm guessing that that's where they're cooking. So that's not the coolers. So I'm not, oh, way back there are probably the coolers. Yeah. Okay, so what's the question? How long does it take to make bound in sourdough bread? Sourdough bread. So you don't have to take a picture of this one. You can just leave it down in the comments because I bet you all know this one because we literally just read it. We got done bread. Mm, finished bread. Okay, so scoring. Scoring. The baker's score, I know what scoring is. It's where you scratch it. Or oh, cut each loaf shape into a distinctive pattern. Create to wait for the bread to rise, the crust to form, without bursting. A scoring pattern is often considered a baker signature. The long bound and loaf can be recognized for its unique short sourdough smile. Ooh, look how good so it looks. Ooh, it looks so good. Okay, so what's baking involved? The wraps of scored bread are rolled into the ovens where they heat and steam will transform. Rattle and beautiful bound in San Francisco sour bread. Steam is injected into the ovens during the. Mommy, I like how you were doing the way you're showing them how, like as I read it, of how it works. Of how it works. Steam is injected into the ovens during the first minute of bake time, which keeps the surface moist and flexible. This allows the bread to fully expand and develop its famous golden glow and crispy crust. So I think those back there are the ovens. All right, so what's that? They didn't see, right? Okay, nope, they didn't. What's the question? Why do bakers score the bread? Mm. <laughs> look, Chloe, look. Mm. Would we call that a hidden Mickey? I guess. It's pretty hidden. Mm, that looks yummy. And then here she's cutting it into bowls. See? Yeah. What do you think? Was it more interesting than you were expecting? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're in the Pacific Wharf, and we just did the Korean.